Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com, and in this video, I wanted to answer a question I received from a woman in our community who wants to know if silence makes a man miss her. This is a question I get asked pretty often, especially recently, so hopefully this will be helpful for you no matter where you're at in your love life, whether you're single and looking to meet the right man, or if you're in a relationship and your man is acting distant or pulling away. But before I get started, if you're looking to attract a man into a lasting committed relationship, or if you're in a relationship and you wanna bring your man closer than ever before, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our latest videos and information. So the short answer to this question, does silence make a man miss you, is yes, absolutely. If he likes you or, you know, if he loves you and cares about you, if you're in a relationship, basically if a man is attracted to you and interested in being with you and he doesn't hear from you for a certain period of time, then yes, of course, that will make him miss you. But I do want to mention that, you know, all of my tools and everything I teach all hinges on authenticity. So I would never recommend pretending that you're busy or playing hard to get in an attempt to like make a man feel something or get him to do something. You know, all of those games and strategies, they might get you a short-term result, but they'll never get you the permanent lasting results that I know you're looking for in your love life. So being authentic and having this just be a part of who you are is so important to attract the man you want and just keep his energy coming towards you continually. So basically you want to have a full complete life outside of a man and just radiate out who you are as a person and that will really attract that man towards you if he's the right man for you. But if a man, you know, texts you or he calls you, he initiates contact in some way, I would say absolutely go ahead and respond to him whenever you're available. A lot of coaches might say wait a few hours or even a day or wait till the next day so you don't seem too eager, but that can really cut off that momentum I've found. So if a man shows up and he contacts you, I'd say go ahead and respond to him. Now if you're really busy doing something else, of course stay with what you're doing while you're doing it. You don't have to like jump to a man and respond every time he shows up immediately. But I would say, you know, just whenever you have some time, go ahead and respond. Responding is a feminine energy quality, a very feminine energy quality. So you want to think of yourself as just constantly responding to a man. He shows up, like he texts you, you text him back. If he calls and leaves a message, go ahead and call him back when you get a chance. I just want you to get away from playing games or implementing these like temporary strategies because really a man can pick this up in your vibe if you're playing games with him, that it's just all about him, that you're trying to do something to affect him in some way and that will keep him at a distance or push him away on a very deep unconscious level. Now I will say that like let's say a man, um, you don't hear from him for a while, maybe a couple days, and it's someone you're dating or someone you're interested in, typically, you know, that might cause you to want to jump into your masculine energy and start contacting him or pursuing him or even really chasing him in obvious ways. A lot of times it's subtle. A man pulls away and just naturally we might feel this urge to lean forward and either figure out what happened or get that connection going again. And that's where women can run into trouble because that energy of us jumping into our masculine energy and just kind of trying to get the connection back or push things forward or move the relationship along, that will uh, cause a man to lose interest or lose attraction for you on a very deep unconscious level. He might not be able to put his finger on it, but he might just feel uh, the, his desire to pursue you fading away or shrinking a little bit. So you want to make sure you're always in your feminine energy and not play games, you know? And then the key is really just having a full life outside of him. So um, you're not always available every single time he, you know, asks you out or contacts you. And of course it has to be authentic. So you want to just build this complete life outside of him. And 
if he, you know, if a man's like asking you out last minute, we'll say, and you're just not available, rather than being cold or ignoring him or letting him know he should have asked you out sooner, um, that can make a man feel like he just can never be enough or do anything right. So what you want to do is, you know, like let's say a man asks you out last minute. I know a lot of women experiencing that these days. So uh, maybe maybe you're in that place as well saying something like oh it feels so good to hear from you and I would love to see you you know unfortunately I'm booked tonight or I'm not available this weekend um, I'm free next week on these days and you know just that will keep his energy coming towards you if you're not immediately shooting him down or ignoring him or acting cold towards him. So you want to think of everything in terms of space and softness. I think I talk about space and softness a lot in some of these videos and uh, it's basically, you know, staying in your feminine energy. You're creating space for him to come towards you. That means you're not um, actively pursuing him and chasing him and always being the one to initiate contact. You are staying out of your masculine energy and stepping into your feminine energy that creates the space for a man to come towards you. And then when he shows up, you want to be warm and open and receptive to him. That's the softness. So the space in and of itself is not enough. You also need the softness in order to really make a man miss you. If a man shows up and he's automatically hit with where have you been? Why did it take you so long to contact me? Why haven't you asked me out for the weekend yet? Those kinds of things. Or even if your energy is just conveying that you're disappointed in him constantly, it's not going to compel him to keep coming towards you. And it's not going to make him miss you when you're not around. So in order to make a man really miss you, you want to have that softness as well as creating that space at the same time. So space and softness is really important. And, you know, hopefully that will encourage a man to keep showing up and pursuing you. And basically it will keep his energy coming towards you throughout this, all the stages of dating and throughout the entire relationship. So I hope that answered your question. Does silence make a man miss you? And I hope that gave you some ways to really be authentic about this and just stay in your feminine energy which will really encourage a man to step up and be the kind of man that you want him to be for you in a relationship. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with this. Feel free to type those into the comment section and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted, click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website and I will talk to you soon.